for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was, who I am, who I will be. And, and who is that? I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith. I'm ready for a change. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but... We have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner... And, How soon? Uh, well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. For we will soon be free together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. 
I personally approved the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. He wants me to plead. I shall not. Why would the warden come to visit me? He wants me to plead. Hmm. Quite. You were always a man of few words, Alfani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I'm just... Death is death. And I'm ready to embrace my own. Quite. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to... Hmm. Make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've, um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, um, to stop fighting. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I have nothing more to say to him. You would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. I have no family. No country. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. There isn't much time. Well, hurry up, boy. We ain't got much time. What in hellfire are you waiting for? Come on! For the love of the Mojal's foul bowel movements, are you planning? About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. <laughs> 